first thing I would like to, to say is uh, thank you very much. Uh, as Alessandra was uh, saying this at the, at the end, I would like to start with this. Uh, thank you very much for organizing the, the Coda Day and, and uh, for inviting me. And yeah, it, it's a great opportunity to contribute to, um, to this event. So I'm going to talk about compositional analysis of tourism related content. As, as the majority of you uh, would know, if you have seen the the abstract and, and my bio, I have been in, in the tourism field from the very beginning uh, of my career, but I started using compositional data analysis less than 10 years ago. In 2012, I did the, the coder course, the, the week coder course, and it was quite difficult at the beginning to um, to publish or to start in publishing in in, uh, in in tourism field journals because uh, yeah at the beginning it, it, it was like journals or, or or the researchers in in the field were a bit afraid of the this new uh, methodology but in the end well we managed um yeah and today i can talk about uh tourism related content and how i apply the compositional data analysis i mean the methodology uh in, in the tourism field eh? I, I i use the method uh and i apply it eh, to, to tourism uh to the tourism field so i have divided the presentation in three main uh, applications, huh? uh, which are different studies, uh, different publications. I have used in the first application, the, um, the distance, in the second application, the biplots, and in, in the last one, the MANOVA. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm using the different um, coder tools huh? to, to respond to different objectives. Uh, everything, I mean, all these studies are related to um, analyzing uh, content, okay, posted on uh, social media, uh, online platforms, as it is the case of Airbnb or TripAdvisor uh, or Facebook, okay, and uh, with uh, some of the colleagues here in, in the University of Lleida with uh, Estela Mariné and Eva Martin Fuentes, um, we started started uh, using compositional data analysis to complement the, um, the established um, methods to analyze content, to, to complement uh, text mining. Uh, the, the expert, Estela Marine Roch, is one of the experts in, in, tourism, in, in the tourism field to, to analyze the tourist uh, destination. And so uh, we found uh, an opportunity uh, all together to, to use uh, compositional data analysis to uh, analyze content posted, in, in this case, um, on the internet, online. Okay? The first application is that of, uh, I mean, that of uh, published in Annals of uh, Tourism Research, which is one of the top journals, is first decile. And we analyze here the destination image um, with Airbnb reviews. In the second application, we wanted to analyze the, the complaints of hotels in, in Barcelona. Uh, in this case, we selected, I'm going to um, give more details eh, just to introduce him a little bit. Uh, in this case, we wanted to um, analyze in, for those hotels with a valuation of one or two out of five, eh? uh, five is, is excellent and, and one is horrible. So those hotels with um, a valuation of one or two, what the users complained about. Hmm? And finally, the third application is uh, based on the content posted by hotels again, but in this case on the social media Facebook. And uh, we wanted to see differences between the category, the, um, the, the auto class. So let us start with the first uh, application, with the first study. 
And um, we wanted to compare the uh, tourist destination image, yeah, which is something that um, one of the colleagues worked um, a lot, eh, of four Spanish cities, Barcelona, Valencia, Madrid, and Sevilla. And we wanted, considering that uh, Airbnb is one of the most um, used peer-to-peer -peer platforms, accommodation platforms, and the, um, the experience that tourists, that we, when traveling, um, the, the experience we have um, when traveling in the accommodation really determines the satisfaction of the whole trip, okay? So uh, the, the idea is how tourists perceive the destination, what is the image of the destination that tourists um, yeah, have huh? when, uh, when posting a review on the Airbnb platform, okay? And uh, the data we use in this case are uh, reviews, Airbnb uh, reviews, so uh, opinions eh, of uh, users in these four cities between 2010 and 2018. And uh, we considered all reviews written in, in English of those listings, accommodation listings, with um, at least uh, a minimum of, of number of, of reviews, eh, which was uh, 10. So in the end, we, we came up with a lot of reviews. Eh? We can see here more than 300,000 reviews in Barcelona, uh, 260,000 in, in Madrid, almost uh, 150,000 in Sevilla, and almost 89,000 in, in Valencia. And uh, I, I would like to point something uh, relevant here, which is, uh, well, the number of reviews for each city is not uh, relevant. I mean, this is this not um, bias our analysis because in the end, considering all reviews written in English from 2010 to 2018, it's, it's true that in 2010, uh, the number of re reviews uh, was really, really small. Huh? But um, since we are going to um, process the, the text uh, of these reviews, and we are going to, or, or we classified, uh, categorized this uh, text within um, uh, tourism destination image categories, the, the number of reviews was not important because in the end we had uh, eight destination image categories and we classified uh, the, the, the main uh, keywords which were extracted uh, from the, the, the content analysis techniques. And um, yeah, we had percentages. So for sure uh, we have uh, proportions, okay? So, yeah, these tourism destination image uh, categories were already defined eh, in a previous work by Marine Roth and, and Anton Clavé. So, uh, this was based on, on theory. In this case, uh, we replaced very, very few um, count zeros. Eh? We consider uh, we have count zeros because uh, we are counting how much time, uh, how much time um, a keyword appears um, in, in the image categories. Hmm? Then we computed the CLR transformation to afterwards uh, compute the distance between the pairs of cities. So we wanted to measure how different, how big or small the difference between the, the perception of tourists uh, uh, of these four cities. So if, if uh, in Barcelona, we, uh, tourists talk more about um, sports, than in, in Madrid or in Sevilla, there is more content about um, the, the, the sea, for example, etc. Okay, so we had these uh, pairs of, of um, I mean, uh, distances eh, between pairs of cities, and we had these six pairs of, of cities. 
So here we have the results eh? and we can see the, the, in, in this first part of the table, the percentages per category. Here we have the eight content um, destination image categories, food and wine, intangible heritage, leisure and recreation, sports, tangible heritage, urban environment, etc. And uh, we have out of the total key keywords extracted from the content um, techniques, eh, which were classified, we have that in Sevilla, eh, proportionally, uh, there is more content eh, uh, in the uh, Airbnb reviews about food and wine. And also there is uh, more content about intangible heritage. In Barcelona, it's, it's notably, uh, this is uh, related to the uh, Olympic Games, eh, because there is a lot of uh, reviews talking about sports in, in Barcelona, and this difference eh, between, I mean, this um, percentage is, is really high compared to, to the others. And also in Valencia, we have more um, keywords classified into sun, sea, and, and sand, etc. cetera. And here we have, for example, in Madrid, there is more about uh, urban environment. So in this second part of the table, we can see the contributions to the IT zone distance huh, for each of the pairs. And we are quantifying the, the difference. So we can see that the, the biggest uh, difference is between Barcelona and Sevilla. So tourists posting or writing reviews on Airbnb perceive these two cities as uh, really different in terms of uh, the, these image categories. Okay. And uh, this category intangible heritage is the one which contributes more uh, to um, distinguish uh, to differentiate between these um, these cities and also sports uh, which contributes a lot and also we can talk about Sansi and San which contributes to to differentiate Sevilla and, and Valencia and the smallest gap uh, is between Barcelona and Madrid so uh, tourists uh, visiting Spain and visiting these two uh, cities, they perceive Barcelona and Madrid as quite similar um, destinations in terms of um, yeah, this um, already defined tourism destination categories, right? Um, when I do this presentation in non-coda audiences, I also like to, to, to show uh, this uh, table, which is the, the proportion subtracting, I mean, are the results of uh, proportion subtracting directly without considering the proportionality between, um, I mean, the proportionality within the tourism destination categories. So more or less, eh, we, we can see that uh, here we have a big difference, here we have another big difference, which was more or less the same case eh, with the contributions and considering the uh, proportionality. But in the end, um, yeah, I, I, in this table, I'm not able to, to interpret it because I don't know how to, how to do it. Uh, because, um, for example, there is five times more of uh, content um, San Si and San in Valencia than, than in Sevilla, or we have four times more or whatever. I mean, we are not considering the, the, the proportionality, right? And I, I like to show uh, how to compute differences when we have uh, proportions or percentages. So this is the first application. Let's go to the second application. And in this case, um, well, we wanted to we wanted to analyze the author reviews content and uh, in, in TripAdvisor, I mean, based on um, reviews eh, on, on TripAdvisor, and more particularly to relate complaint topics to one another, as well as to distinguish auto clusters based on major complaint topics. So in, in this case, eh, we are talking about complaints and we selected those hotels eh, with, um, with a, a lower valuation on, on TripAdvisor. 
And uh, we selected, uh, we had a random selection of three, uh, sorry, sorry uh, 31,000 author reviews uh, of the city of Barcelona, which were downloaded, um, well, five years ago. And, um, well, we, to have a representative um, number of hotels and, and reviews, which are uh, hotels um, active uh, in, in, in the economic uh, terms or in the um, tourism activity terms, eh? we selected those hotels which had at least 150 reviews. And finally, we, we got eh, 50 hotels. And then out of this, all of, all of these reviews, eh? we randomly selected 50 reviews of each 50 uh, uh, hotels. So in the end, we had uh, 2,500 reviews, which were analyzed. And uh, we did, in this case, uh, we did um, the classification uh, of reviews and, and counting, uh, um, I mean, within the, the, the review, we wanted to, to, to count uh, uh, the, the topic of the complaint. So this was done manually in, in this case, okay? And we were to, to people and a, and a student helping us to, to do this task. So um, based on the contents of the reviews, uh, um, uh, we defined seven topics, hmm, which were these topics were um, cleanliness, uh, were staff, services, um, environment, the, the, the facilities of the hotel, services offered by the hotel, and other um, topics, OK? Um, in this case, we had uh, some zeros because first we defined actually eight uh, topics, eight complaint topics, but then we realized that uh, there were two topics which were quite similar, and when uh, classifying the, um, the reviews eh, into the seven uh, topics, a topic at the beginning, uh, we realized that there was, uh, well, a bit of uh, confusion. And uh, finally, we, we decided to, to mix eh, um, two of them. Doing, I mean, after doing that, uh, we had very few uh, zeros and, and we replaced them as, as count zeros. We computed the um, CLR transformation. And finally, we um, had, we just depicted the, the biplots and computed the cluster analysis. So here, we can see that, for example, these autos here um, received more complaints eh, in, in, in proportionality eh, uh, about services here that these ones. Uh, here we have a number of hotels eh, which uh, have more um, complaints about the cleanliness and, and the facilities. This perhaps more about environment and this one a little bit more of, of stuff. And here we have the, the cluster analysis and we finally got three clusters. The first cluster, the red one, eh, it's a bigger one. And here I uh, included the, the centers eh, of um, uh, its uh, topic per, per cluster. So here we have in the first cluster, we can see that uh, complaints about facilities and complaints about environment are the ones uh, which uh, predominate eh, here in the first cluster. In the second cluster, we have also facilities and then uh, services. Eh? So uh, in these hotels, uh, hotels belonging to the second cluster eh, receive more complaints about these two topics. And then we have a very small um, cluster, eh, including all these green uh, uh, dots, uh, hotels. Eh, and here we have um, mainly uh, complaints about environment and then other, uh, other topics. So let's go to the um, to the last application, and uh, in this um, in this study, uh, we wanted to see the strategy of hotels 
posting content on the social media uh, Facebook. And we wanted to see if uh, autos talk more about uh, the destination where they are uh, located or um, autos talk more about the service they offer eh, as, as individual firms, as autos. Hmm? So comparing a little bit eh, the, the content posted on, on Facebook. In this case, we um, considered those hotels from Barcelona and Madrid again, but um, those hotels having uh, an active profile on Facebook and an active profile on Facebook, we considered those hotels publishing or posting um, at least uh, three times per month, okay, which is quite um yeah very few posts eh? but um yeah we were um yeah searching about how, how to consider uh, a profile active in in social media and finally we came with with this so we considered those hotels with a facebook uh, account and being active and out of these hotels we analyzed eh, the last 25 posts published eh, since a determined date uh, in which we collected the, the data and again were manually classified into destination content categories so we had a composition related to destination or tourism destination content and we had a second composition which was auto content uh, categories eh? so let's see eh, the different categories here we had heritage urban nature and sports and gastronomy and uh, this was for the i mean this is the composition for tourism destination content and uh, that of hotel content we uh, selected or we uh, wanted to 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 see at yeah, um, the the content about rooms if the hotels were posting content about rooms um about other facilities or about uh restaurants okay and finally this six log ratio is uh here we are comparing yeah the, the contents uh of hotels in the numerator uh, versus the contents um related to the tourism destination so, sorry yes <laughs> five minutes now right Yes, a, a yeah. bit less in fact. <laughs> okay, actually, I have my uh, clock here, uh, three minutes actually, right? Okay, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm just finalizing and I'm going to comment a little bit this table. Uh, we computed uh, AMANOVA uh, and we can see here uh, the, um, the first and the second, the fourth and the fifth log ratios were uh, statistically significant. And we can see, for example, here um, that um, four and, and five star hotels talk more about the, the, the heritage uh, because these are positive. And we had heritage, let me go back. We have heritage in the first log ratio, we had heritage over the other contents. So this, um, I mean, highest um, class of auto eh? uh, posted content on Facebook related to heritage. Um, three star hotels talk more about uh, urban environment, eh? more than the other classes. When we talk about or, or when it has to do with the content about auto services, yeah, we can see here that five star hotels talk more about other facilities, not rooms, because yeah, rooms, it's like, well, it's compulsory because we are talking about hotels, but proportionally, yeah, five, uh, five star hotels post more content on Facebook uh, uh, related to other, I mean, uh, the restaurant and the other facilities like the spa, the gym, the, the lobby or some uh, meeting rooms, etc. And finally, uh, considering the, the six log ratio, that of uh, auto services versus uh, tourism destination, we can, we, we can see here that five star hotels talk more about the hotel 
uh, while uh, three-star autos talk more about the destination. So it's, it's like, uh, it seems like um, five-star autos want the client to be at the hotel. Why? Because they offer um, uh, services, different uh, services, which are high quality services, while three-star hotels uh, post more content about what to do at the destination. So they want uh, clients not to be at the, at the hotel, but visiting the city. And we did the same analysis for Barcelona and Madrid. And in the end, just to finalize, in the end, we can see that um, hotels from, from Barcelona uh, talk more about the, um, the, the hotel, while hotels in, in Madrid talk more about the, the destination. Okay, so again, eh, we, can, we can see some, some, some differences. And well, this is all. Eh? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I will be happy to discuss any anything anything else with uh, with you related to to this analysis. I'm sorry for the time. Perhaps I have been uh, rushing a little bit. Uh, hopefully, everything is is clear.